everyone. So welcome back to my channel, Krishna Singhdev. So we are doing revision for class 12th. Let us start revision for a new chapter today. We have done in the previous classes for uh, issue of uh, debentures. Regarding that, we had done series and for cash flow also complete uh, revision is done. If in case you have not seen those videos, the playlist is there. So you can search on my channel. Complete cash flow statement is being taught. And uh, from issue of debentures, I have picked up some important topics. Now, today I am starting with one new chapter, which is called dissolution. How we are going to proceed with this chapter? It is, it will be the same way as we have done for issue of debentures because this particular chapter is not very difficult as such, but there are certain areas where which students find difficult. So I'll pick up only those areas which are difficult for students and revise with it instead of teaching the entire chapter because now we have less time also in hand, especially for the students who are going to write their exams in April 2022. So let us get started with a very uh, one of the very important thing of this chapter which is realization account before i go for realization account let me tell you something about this chapter so whenever you have this issue uh, whenever you have this dissolution chapter understand what kind of accounts you are be, you will be supposed to make whenever you have this issue of debenture chapter you will have first of all you will have to make realization account in most of the questions they will ask you realization account but now because of the new pattern there is also a possibility that gain or loss from the realization is already given to you in the question and you have to directly make the capital accounts of the partner and the bank account realization account is a nominal account which we are going to study in detail in today's class next thing what you need to do you can you will be asked to make a partner's capital account now remember that whenever you make partner's capital account it will have an opening balance but partner's capital account will not have any closing balance for the simple reason now firm is closing its business is getting dissolved so the final payment will be done so instead of balance cd what is going to be there it's going to be to bank account on the debit side if the balance is coming and if the partner has withdrawn more, the partner will have to bring. So instead of writing by balance CD, we will write by bank or cash. Then one more important thing over here, unlike admission or this uh, or uh, retirement, over here we are not going to make any balance sheet. In the big question of admission and retirement and for CDSC students, that you see that you even make balance sheet, but here balance sheet is not made. Why? Because the firm is not functioning anymore. The firm is stopping its business, ceasing to do its business. So there is no requirement of making balance sheet. All its, its assets are realized or liquidated and all the liabilities are paid off. So that is why no balance sheet will be made. Now, let us see what is the format of realization account first and the most important account realization account and this realization account is different from revaluation account many a times because students have studied revaluation account in admission and retirement they get confused between realization account and revaluation account so understand what is a realization account and what is the purpose of making this realization account understand that realization account is made to first of all transfer all the assets to the realization account and closing their accounts and all the liabilities under this account and closing their balances so we under we know that we have all the assets with the debit balances okay so when you have to uh, close any account what do you do you credit it with the same amount so that account will be closed so this is what we do over here here in the format of realization account you can see two sundry assets so what will be the entry just imagine the entry if i have to write the entry what should be the entry obviously the entry is going to be realization account debit two sundry assets so means what i have done i have close the my, my asset account by debiting it to realization account means transferring its balance to realization account what entry i'll pass if i have to pass the entry realization account debit to sundry assets so that sundry assets name all these sundry assets will come which are listed below so what are you doing you're closing the assets account and you're transferring it to realization account let us see the debit side entirely first 
and then we will go to the credit side. So what all is coming over here? Any assets which you have transferred over here? Now, this is very important. What all kind of assets are going to be transferred over here? Only those assets which can be realized means which can be sold in the market and some value can be fetched out of it. So it can be your land and building, it can be plant and machinery, it can be furniture, goodwill. Yes, this is very, very, very important here. Students mostly get confused that why goodwill is getting transferred. Well, goodwill should not be transferred because goodwill is evaluated and the new partner builds it and the old partners, if it is retirement question, the old partner will take this goodwill back back to uh, you know another partners who are gaining partner will have to give the goodwill no 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 nothing like that is happening over here here understand what it is it is dissolution of the partnership firm firm is ceasing to do its business and what is goodwill goodwill is a realizable asset it is an intangible asset if you are selling your business to a third party obviously they will pay the value of all your assets as well as for the goodwill which you have earned so that value you are going to receive from the outsider so never ever think that that like in the previous admission and retirement what we used to do whenever we used to see goodwill in the balance sheet we used to write it off on the debit side of the partners because their reason was there the business is continuing and s26 says that the business uh, which uh, the goodwill which is self-generated goodwill should not be forming part of your balance sheet it should be written off only at the time of Admission and retirement, we evaluate the goodwill, we calculate the goodwill of incoming partner or outgoing, outgoing partner and then accordingly do the treatment. But here what is happening, we are selling our business, we are stopping our business. So here goodwill should be treated, goodwill should be written in the realization account on the debit side. So all the realizable assets, I'm saying again, realizable, I mean to say, whatever can fetch some value, whatever can be sold in the market will be written over here. So if I talk about the patents, patents will also be written over here because patents is again intangible asset patent as i was discussing patent is also uh, an in, uh, you know uh, intangible asset and it can also fetch the value so patent will also be coming over there like this if there is any copyright trademark etc that all should also come over here students sometimes get confused that intangible assets will not come but understand students intangible assets are also going to fetch value they are realizable they can be sold in the market investments will come over here stock will come obviously any prepaid expenses or paid in advance will come over here debtors now very special point about the debtors listen when we write debtors in the balance sheet normally how debtors are presented debtors are written something uh sorry let Debtors are written something like this. We write debtors. Some X amount is there. Then we minus from here provision for doubtful debt. I'm writing in short form PDD. You deduct that amount. Let's say this was 20,000 and you have made the provision for 2,000. So in the outer column of balance sheet, you write 18,000. Now understand what is this? Why are we writing provision for doubtful debt in our books of account? Because we doubt with our experience, we have doubt that every year, some one, two or three percentage debtors, they do not pay the amount to us. So it is wise to make the arrangement for it, make a provision for it in advance because the concept of prudence says that, that in advance we should make the provision for it because there may be a possibility that some debtors are going to you know uh, be bad or they are not going to pay us the money so that is why we make some provision but it does not mean that out of 20,000 debtors only 18,000 are going to pay no this is just an assumption that this may happen this has actually not happened actual number of debtors are how many 20,000 rupees for 20,000 your debtors are there so we will have to write this 20,000 over here when we write debtor this is called gross amount let me explain once again what is gross amount and what is net amount? So when I say that 18,000 are my debtors, 
outside column and inside i have 20000 debtors and i have pdd provision for doubtful debt 2000 rupees so this amount is called gross debtors so here what is transferred here what is transferred gross debtors are transferred means without deducting pdd what is the amount is transferred over here and this 2000 then what are we going to do very important students pay attention over here what are you going to do with this 2000 with this 2000 what you have to do you will have to write it over here along with other liabilities over here along with other liabilities provision for doubtful debt has to be written okay all the liabilities provisions and reserves have are liabilities in the nature that is why it has to come over here so it will come over here as provision for doubtful debt it will come on the liability side where we are transferring other liabilities closing down their balances kyunki remember this the provisions also have what balances they have credit balances so if i have to close any provision which side i will put on the realization account i will be putting it over here in the realization account on the credit side now what else comes in the realization account on the debit side now let us see again what else comes over here cash or bank what is this cash or bank this cash or bank means payment of certain liabilities now where are the liabilities over here on the credit side look over here here we have transferred the liabilities sundry liabilities under that we have provision for doubtful debt sundry creditors outstanding expenses any bank loan loan from spouses investment fluctuation fund it is important that all the time investment fluctuation fund will be transferred over here unlike your admission and retirement question where ifr if it is not sufficient uh, if it is more than the you know loss or the uh, reduction in the value of investment what do we do we distribute the remaining fund among the partners but over here we are not going to do so we are going to write the entire amount of investment fluctuation reserve into the realization account because of a simple reason it is liability in the nature we are just closing down all the liabilities and assets account so it is kept over here then loan from spouses that is also written over here apart uh, from liabilities point of view i'll tell you one thing what all liabilities are transferred like for assets i said all realizable assets will be transferred when i say realizable assets imagine what all comes on the asset side of the balance sheet there are liabilities uh, sorry there are assets which are fixed asset current assets there are cash balances and bank balances there is uh, some uh, debit balances of profit and loss account and sometimes the uh, deferred revenue expenditures are also there like advertisement suspense etc and there is sometimes debit balances of partners also out of all these things what are we transferring we are transferring only realizable asset now why cash and bank is not transferred because cash and bank is already liquid what are we doing we are transferring all the assets over here and liquidating them one by one we are selling them but cash and bank are then they are themselves liquid so there is no need to transfer cash balance and bank balance over here and as far as profit and loss account debit balance and deferred revenue expenditures are concerned and the debit balance of partner is concerned these are not the assets which are realizable who is going to buy a loss from you or who is going to buy an asset which is not an asset actually which is only for the name sake written in the balance sheet deferred revenue expenditure or a debit balance of partner it cannot be sold to anyone okay these are not actually the assets so these all things will not be transferred to realization account now if i talk about the credit side what are liabilities you are transferring outsiders liabilities who are outsider is a spouse or a relative outsider obviously if mr a is there his loan will not be transferred over here or his capital will not be transferred because he is not an outsider he is is the partner of firm owner of the firm so anything related to a whether it is his current account capital account his loan account will not come over here but if a is wife mrs a has given the loan to firm that should come over here so that is why you can see loan from spouse is written and loan from relative spouse is also written another important point over here is workman compensation fund about which we will discuss in detail in later classes as well so workman compensation reserve how much amount will come over here workman compensation fund or reserve whatever it is so what are you transferring over here only that much amount for which the liability exists 
means for which the claim exists suppose i have 50000 rupees as my workman compensation reserve and the claim is only for 20000 so what i am going to do i am going to transfer only 20000 over here and for that i will make the payment remaining amount i am going to distribute among my partners in their profit sharing ratio which does not happen with investment fluctuation fund otherwise if you see partnership uh, admission of partnership and um, the retirement of partnership same treatment is for ifr and same treatment is for wcr but here the treatment of wcr is same like means we have to transfer that much of amount for which the liability exists but remaining amount has to be distributed but ifr is different so these two areas you have to focus this which we will discuss in detail also right now our entire focus is on the realization account okay so now we have seen step number 1 where we have transferred all the liabilities and all the assets which assets we have transferred only those assets which are realizable assets which liabilities we have transferred we have transferred the outsiders liabilities then special thing about the debtors gross amount of the debtors will be transferred over here on the realization accounts debit side and whatever provision for doubtful debt is made that is going to be transferred on the credit side along with the other liability now what is going to happen we will sell one by one all these assets how can we sell we don't have to do anything the question will give us entire information so we just have to see that what all values we have received for by selling certain assets so whatever values you write uh, you receive you will put write over here by cash or bank assets realized in bracket and you will write land and building plant and machinery furniture investment stock that is goodwill patents etc now so students understand and bear it in mind there is one very important thing that there may be a possibility that you have transferred let's say 10 assets to the debit side of realization account but out of this 10 assets only 8 are sold and the information regarding that is given so what to be done with remaining two understand this we cannot assume on our own that this particular asset is being sold for this much of value it is subject to realization it is a possibility that the building which was of 1 crore rupees in our books is being sold for 2 crore rupees this is also a possibility that a plant which is reflecting as 50 lakh rupees in our books is sold only for 50000 rupees this can happen so we cannot write on our own we just have to leave it yes you heard me right we just have to leave it for or in assets for which no information is given you will simply write by cash bank other assets for about which information is given that for this much value these assets realized or maybe they are taken by the partner so if there is any partner who has taken over the assets you can see over here i have written by partner's capital account and under bracket i have also written uh, the uh, Re apart as asset taken over. So this much we have to do, and rest all we cannot write that this asset must have been sold for this much value. No assumption can be made. But is it possible to do the same thing for the liabilities? No, it's not possible. The same rule is not applicable for the liabilities. If I go to make the payment for the liabilities, I have to write down all the liabilities. For example, I have transferred five liabilities on the. credit side i have to make payment of all the five liabilities now again important thing over here why we have to make payment of all the five liabilities understand that the firm is closing its business so this is the only time they are going to pay back the dues to all the others otherwise the firm will not be able to close down its business is maybe under litigation problems so they will have to pay to all the outsiders their dues that is why they cannot stop anyone's due and we as student also have to understand even if the question is not telling us about five assets if you have five liabilities if you have transferred and it is telling about only three liabilities that this much amount is paid this much amount is paid maybe sometimes we get some discount also so what happens to remaining two if out of five three is information is given remaining two we have to assume that we have paid at the book value and write down now which assets will not which liabilities will not be paid off obviously investment fluctuation reserve there is no person standing up to take that you know take it take that amount that is just a provision which we have made because of the concept of prudence so no payment for investment fluctuation reserve no payment for provision for doubtful debt again because of the prudence concept we have made a provision we don't have to pay it to anyone outsider we are just transferring it to close it we don't have to pay it. so what are we paying we are paying sundry creditors loan from relative or spouse that is being paid bills payable we will pay 
outstanding expenses if there are any we will pay bank loan we will pay and realization expenses whenever this whole work is done of selling the assets realizing the value and all obviously there will be some expenses so those expenses we will have to write now about any liability taken over by the partner liability what liability a partner can take for example a partner says that a relative loan i will pay so if a partner is paying relative loan it does not mean that partner has taken this responsibility and he is not expecting anything from the firm no right now he has paid but when final settlement of his account means his um, uh, final settlement will be done by adding all the things which is coming on the credit side of his capital account and deducting debit side you will have to pay him this so what will be the entry see this partner's capital account a liability taken over for example a partner takes a liability to pay a creditor what will be the entry the entry will be realization account debit to partner's capital account partner's capital account is getting credited means we have discharged one liability by paying and the partner has discharged but another liability has created what is this another liability this this partner's capital account is credited so there will be some balance over here and this amount has also come so all together when we make the payment to the partner to bank we will have to pay this amount what was his initial balance of capital as well as this amount because he had taken up this liability he has taken over this liability paid to a third party on his own but when the firm makes payment the firm will have to make the payment to the partner for taking up this liability i hope this is clear to you now let us see what else will come what else comes in the realization account let me revise once whatever we have discussed till now first step in the realization account is transfer of all the realizable assets when i say realizable asset it does not include any cash or bank because it itself is liquid it is cannot be sold it does not include debit balances of profit and loss account it does not include any deferred revenue expenditure it does not include any debit balances of partners capital or current account it includes goodwill patents copyrights etc on the the uh, credit side what is transferred all the outsiders liability when i say outsider liability means partners capital account will not be transferred partners current accounts will not be transferred partners loan account will not be transferred over here and if any reserve fund is there that will also not be transferred what else will be transferred ifr will be transferred means investment fluctuation fund will be transferred all the outside liabilities like bank loan loan from relative loan from partners will be transferred provision for doubtful debt will be transferred over here workman compensation reserve the part for which the liability stands that much part will be transferred over here okay after this what are we going to do we will pay all the liabilities even if the question is silent about a particular liability we have to make the payment of it if any partner has taken over a liability we'll write to partners capital account and under bracket we are going to write liability taken over all the assets about which the question has given us the information that for this much amount the asset is being realized that all we'll write by bank if any partner takes over the asset means partner has taken over the asset it will come over here so this should go to the debit side of partners capital account means when we make the payment to the partner we will pay this much less amount let's say a partner has taken a furniture which was worth 50000 rupees he has taken over that furniture so now when the final payment to the partner will be done 50000 less will be paid why because he has already taken over an asset worth rupees 50000 so he is his final payment will be reduced by 50000 now after doing all of this understand this this is a nominal account so if it has a credit balance means incomes are more then it will be gain and it will be transferred to all the partners capital account the gain in their psr profit sharing ratio if the debits are more means debit side is greater it means more expenses are incurred and less incomes is in is generated there is a loss so this loss again has to be borne by the partner and it will be transferred to the partners capital account and on the debit side of partners capital account so this was all about realization account there are few more points which we will discuss in the coming class i hope this format is understood and the steps are understood in today's class very well by all of you so what you have to do you will have to make the format once again on your own 
and see whether you are able to understand and recollect whatever i said in today's class and in the next class what are we going to do now in the next class we will see some special things which do not come and do come in the realization account and we will also see how to deal with workman compensation reserve and that's it only that will be the agenda for the next class so i hope you have understood and if you have liked this video share with your, your friends if you have not yet subscribed the uh, channel subscribe it okay let's meet in the next class now till then have a great day